Hello and welcome everybody and thank you guys for joining me again. My name is Wilkie and I'm almost fully recovered. I will cough here and there and I will turn my face away from the microphone so I don't blast your eardrums out. So sorry for that. Uh, but as I mentioned, I am playing, rather I got access to the Revelation Closed Beta 3 it is. And uh, yeah, first things... Um, I made this video pretty much, I'm gonna do a very similar video I did which uh, when I was playing the Chinese server, or the Chinese version rather. Uh, but yeah, at least now I can read most of the things and I did already start the game because one of my pet peeves is, and I don't know why a lot of games do that, is when you first start the game they blast at full volume at you and since the way I have my stuff set up is I always turn down the volume in the game itself and not on Windows. So what usually happens is I turn deaf the moment I start the game and it was the same thing here. But anyways, um, I made a character. I'm gonna delete it uh, because I just wanted to get into the game to set up my volumes and stuff so you can actually hear me rather than uh, what happened when I was playing the Chinese server where it was kind of like, uh, yeah, the sound of the game was a bit too loud and yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, that's exactly what I mean and I said I wanted to turn away but I didn't, sorry. Well, let me just one quick thing. And, uh, right, we're, we're gonna be... I'm gonna make a gunner, because like I said, I want this to be as close to the experience that I had on the Chinese server, so I can actually tell you if it really was the delay in the ping I had that kinda ruined it for me, or if I generally don't like the game. But so far, at least when I did some testings, it uh, worked quite a bit. So, I think we have... the Sword Mage is new, if I recall correctly, so right now you have six classes. Um, they aren't gender locked, but a lot of classes don't have that many presets, I guess. But you can customize that later on. So I'm gonna go for the gunner. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for this cutscene where he's flying around on a mech or whatever it is. Like, the character creation is actually very well made, so I am. That's what always surprised me. You have, like, kind of presets here. These are female, these are male, but we're just gonna stick to that. Not gonna spend too much time on the character creation because that's not really what I usually spend my time on. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out the smallest model because I like small characters. Um, in older games, character height sometimes had an effect on hitbox and speed and stuff, so yeah, it's just... I, I always try to like do that. I don't think it's gonna be a difference in this game, but just in case. Uh, yeah, anyways, I think this is fine. We're gonna go for some greenish hair color. This is really cool, actually, that you get, like, RGB codes and stuff that you can use here for, um, hair colors and everything. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. So, what hair is I gonna go for? Let's go, let's go with this one. And, uh, just do that. So, um... What I don't exactly understand about this beta is that the localization is not fully done yet. And you'll get to hear that when the cutscene kicks in. And I will interrupt it, I'll just let you hear what I mean in a few seconds. Which, it's Chinese, and I'm not sure why, because this is the English client, but yeah. It's not really much of an issue, really, that a cutscene is in... Uh, in Chinese, I guess, but yeah, it's just a bit weird for me that the localization is not done yet at this point. Maybe it'll it'll never be. I don't know if they're gonna do voiceover. Maybe they won't. Anyways, when you start the game, you are presented with three control modes, which uh, back on the Chinese server I couldn't really read, and I think I took the non-target one, but I don't remember. Uh, I could rewatch the video, but screw that. So basically, you have. Um, the keyboard control, which is sort of like your standard um, tap target MMO type of play where you run around the WASD or the arrow keys, whatever you prefer, and uh, you rotate the camera and you target mobs. Then you have um, a mouse control, which is 
eerily similar to isometric RPGs like Diablo, Path of Exile, or any anything of that sort, Torchlight. And then you have the non-target, which is sort of like the action combat, which you... They, they say here it's like Dragon Nest and Blade and Soul and Terra, so also like C9. So we're definitely gonna go for that. What kind of bugs me about this a bit is that if people turn on the target mode, that it kind of is a bit weird to play in action mode in PvP because you're gonna be putting yourself at a d disadvantage. Sure, it might feel better, but if somebody has 100% aim lock on you, why would you play in action mode where you could potentially whiff skills? It's a bit... yeah, but that's just a bit of a concern of mine. Um, as far as settings go, like I said, I think I'm gonna just turn it down a little bit more, just in case. Um, whoops, yeah, okay. And as far as graphics uh, go, or like the settings go, I have everything on max except shadows. Um, I do have to have shadow. I usually turn shadows off completely, but if I do, um, just take a look at this. Right now it looks kind of nice and vibrant and stuff, and if I turn off shadows completely, it uh, turns into this, which is a bit... I feel the performance being better, but it looks a bit wonky. So I'm gonna go for that. Um, Anti-aliasing, I never turn it on because I personally, I know what it is and know what it does, and I think the effect is never worth the performance hit, so I always turn it off. As far as the rest goes, I think I have almost everything maxed. I'm playing at 1080p. Um, so yeah. Uh, as you can see, some of these things aren't translated either, so, um, yeah, most of the times you get tooltips, though, that are in English, so it's not that bad. Anyways, these are the settings we're gonna play with, so any performance, I'm not sure if you can see my FPS on the top right. Right now, I am sitting at around 115, 110 FPS, jumping down. So, I don't think I can actually display the FPS in-game, sadly. Um, no, I don't think there is an option to do that, unfortunately, but yeah, I, I, you'll probably tell, or you can probably tell, and I will tell you if the performance dips down or whatever. So let's just go ahead, and like I said, we're just gonna go, and I will skip these cutscenes, I'm not gonna make this a lore video or anything, so I'm just gonna, like, you know talk about a bit of things and uh, yeah levity uses up levity value I think that is like stamina thing or so and we just got that like like effects wise and stuff and, and, and how the game looks it's really cool and right now in the tutorial area I do have a very decent performance but I do have some concerns that at certain points in the game I might actually yeah Anyways, the line, we saw that in the Chinese version as well, and I do believe you can turn that off if I'm not mistaken. Um, I just need to find out where it is. Line to target, exactly, because I don't, I don't like it, so... Anyways, basically how this game plays out, I think most classes always have, like, two weapons or sub-weapons or, like, you know, two forms. Basically, as a gunner... I have the pistols and the rifle and obviously other skills, but um, I, I believe these two are gonna be the ones I'll be using for most of it. Alright, I'll try to like skip through some of these things. The sprinting animation and dodging feels quite nice. The dodging especially feels really good because it doesn't lock your camera, so you can like do these sideways and uh, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, like I can like, you know, spot dodge if you will. Or rather, just, you know, you get the point that I can move. And there's a lock in gift that will give me a Vanisher Scroll, a Teleport item, and Time of Zip. I'm not sure what that is, I'm just gonna take it. It's free, it's closed beta, so it's most likely gonna get wiped anyway, so might as well take everything. So... New equipment, and that's a bit, uh, I, I like the feature actually, that it kind of like uh, shows you that you can uh, have new items and stuff like that, so it's a bit, a bit good, and like, that was, that was terrible English. What I mean is that it's good that it kind of holds your hand, because it takes away a lot of the confusion, 
but later on it might be a bit boring so we're just gonna go ahead uh, right now I do have concussion bomb which is my right click thunder shell which is my left click so uh, yeah I'm not exactly sure how this combo system works if there is um, like any difference or if there's any anything you have to like pay attention to when comboing maybe there is later I don't know and we're getting another cutscene. I unfortunately cannot skip it. So we have these plant guys throwing around a sheep or something. I'm just gonna help this. I'll throw my grenade. Um, that skill looks kind of fun. And I can definitely tell you at this point it feels a lot better than it did on the Chinese server. Like, I played many Korean games uh, with heavy delay and stuff. But just imagine, like, if you ever played Blade and Soul or C9, imagine having, like, a 2-3 to three second delay. It doesn't feel good at all, because you don't understand what the game is doing, or wants you to do, because the combat system is a bit weird. Um, I have to say that, it plays a bit strange. Because, yeah, it's not true action combat, it is a lot more like Blade and Soul actually is. So as you can see, even though I don't really look at my target, I still have it locked on, so yeah, it's not truly action combat, at least not for a ranged class, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna whack these mobs a bit, and then I'll go ahead. I do like grinding, so I tend to just, you know, get a feel for the combat system. My shots seem to deal, like, no damage at all, so this is a bit weird. And said, and I'm not entirely sure how mana works or anything, or if that's gonna be a problem. But let's do that quest. And rescue that sheep. Or egg, whatever it is, I guess. What's cool, it's like Blade and Soul, and you, you'll you probably hear me making a lot of these comparisons. Um, but that Blade and Soul had a similar that it would incorporate your own character and exactly your own character so how you look what designs you were having and stuff like that it would take that into the game as a cutscene so yeah I think this is the quest where you have to like lift up the pole and flag and stuff yep fly the carpet banner Watch the entire story animation to get one form favor. Okay. Apparently if you watch the cutscene you get stuff. So let's do that. It's a bit of a weird uh, incentive to have people watch the cutscene really because honestly, sure that wasn't really that wasn't really long or anything, so that was that was pretty cool. Wall dash, press space with perform a charging leap. Well, I don't know, I can't really jump. But it doesn't matter, so so far I can tell you it feels actually pretty good. Um, I do get occasional FPS spikes, so yeah, I mean, I'm playing at max settings, so I could definitely always turn down the settings. But then again, I shouldn't have to, at least not at this point. So yeah. Standard, uh, do this, walk around, quest, so nothing extraordinary. It's like the complete opposite of Black Desert. So if you like a game that gives you a lot of direction and pretty much tells you exactly what to do, where to go, um, what dungeon to run, then this is obviously going to be a lot up your alley. I don't necessarily mind having a sense of direction. At the same time, I don't really am the quest guy. I would rather just hit mobs and so... Yeah. So far we're getting a lot of levels. Um, another Chinese cutscene. I don't even know why there's no subtitles and I will talk over them because they're talking Chinese so I can really... Uh, yeah, this is one of the quick time events they incorporated into the game. I'm not sure if why... I personally am not a fan of quick time events. Uh, and I think even if you mess those up, there's nothing really uh, that can happen. But it's a cool gimmick, I guess, in to incorporate into an MMO. Because it makes you feel more like you're playing an action game rather than 
an MMO, I guess. Uh, but I can't help that it reminds me a lot of the Dragon Pass in Blade and Soul, which makes you all kung fu and fly around as well. So let's skip these dialogues again. And I'll probably make this into a 30 minute video again. Like, I will probably do the dungeon and do the story. Pride of the Guardians Akuta. And we cannot skip that again. I really do hope that you can skip those on your second character, because rewatching cutscenes is super boring, at least for me. So I'd prefer if we'd had the chance to, like, you know, skip cutscenes if we want to. So let's talk to this Akuta guy. I think I just got a pistol. And I got a new skill. Hellfire Salvo. You learned a skill, right? The question is, what is my skill window? Oh, K is my skill window. Oh, never mind. I think that's just my left. No, it's not my left click. There we go. This is a new skill. Okay. So we got a new skill. Um, this is what the skill tree looks like. I have no clue exactly how the skill tree plays out later and what these special skills are. So don't nail me on that because if you're like looking for in-depth information, I am in this case certainly not the right um, address for that really. Because I didn't spend too much time playing the game because yeah, I still don't see myself playing a game but it feels pretty nice at this point. And let's take a look at a new skill. And that's just like a auto fire, I guess. And that grenade doesn't really deal any damage, does it? So questing, at least if you need to loot items, it seems that you just have to kill mobs and the rest will happen to yourself. So it's not actually like you pick up something, but you just kill them. Which is fine, picking up quest items is super, super lame. So, uh, I definitely prefer this way. Okay, so now we're at the part where we get the wings again. And, uh, yeah, we can fly. Flying is a very, I think, integral part of the game. It feels really good. It feels really quick, though. Um, I personally don't like this flappy wing effect you see on the screen. Maybe you can see it. Um, I'm not sure if you can turn it off. Maybe you can. But it's not super annoying for me, I just personally don't like it. So, uh, yeah, let's see if... How do I land? That's the question. I don't have to land, I still have to fly around, okay. So, as far as controls go and how things feel, it's really... Uh, it's really good and, and feels really good. So this is definitely something I could see myself playing in terms of control scheme and how the game plays out. There is a rather uh, pressing issue, I guess. Or rather, uh, well, the elephant in the room, if you will. Because there have been a lot of videos already about the game being paid to win. And personally... I, well, how should I put this, really? I guess it boils down to whatever your liking is. As a matter of fact, though, if you're looking to be super competitive in PvP later on, then you will probably end up having to spend money. And I got this little cow thing again. Wait, can I... Can I rotate my camera? Yes. I'm not sure what exactly these things are, really. Uh, where's my character window? It's a costume, really. You have a... I have a cow sitting on my head now. Not sure what exactly the point of that is. It's probably a Chinese thing, maybe, or an anime thing, I'm not sure. But, yeah. And I think you don't have kill points. Oh, what? Oh, that seems like a log in reward thingy sign in, it's sad. 
There's a lot of gifts they give out, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, th so these are login rewards and stuff like that. So you have the incentive to log in every day, which is good. Which is which is really good. I think this is one of the most crucial implementations in any MMO these days to give people an incentive to log in every day. Like just simple login words rewards, even if it isn't super. Uh, super fancy or game-changing it's just a nice feeling to give at least I think it's a psychological thing to like you know if you log in you get something even if you don't really play or if you can't play on an every day at least logging in is worth it so I think that greatly helps we get another uh, a backpack a, a waste ornament Star glasses. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the backpack. Okay. The question is, did, does this hide my weapons, or did I just? Well, I, I don't think I can fight at this point anyway. So, complete Taku. So right now, even though if you have no sense of direction at all, you just have to like do this quest. And right now, it's it's the tutorial area pretty much. So let's talk to this fancy pants guy again. Uh, yes, submit please. As you can see, I'm going over through a lot of things really fast. So definitely do not take this as a learning experience. But it just goes to show that you can play this game very casually and you, you don't have to get super um, involved in order to get past the game or like explore things. So. Another cutscene. Shift A. Oh, this is the Matrix scene. Shift D. Space. I mean, it's a cool addition. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's funny, and fancy, the first time at least. But it, at the same time, it's a bit silly because it's not really. We have to fight him again. Oh, I have to dodge his attacks twice in a row. Double tap A. Oh, well, that looked fun. <coughs> Sorry for that. But this time I remembered to turn away. So I got a prototype axe. At least the NPCs are moving relatively quickly. Uh, in a lot of games, you have to wait for NPCs to move around, which is super lame. Uh, not in this one. And there they go, all pervy. Um, It's a good one for in favor of story points. Yes. Okay. So, literally, they are kinda bribing you to watch the cutscenes in order to get, like, certain rewards. I think this is a very strange attempt, and I think it's not the best one, really. But then again, it's not anything game breaking, nor does it, like, have. Or I assume, at least, it doesn't have any major impact if you just skip them. You're low longer in protection mode. Okay, we completed that. I mean, th I, I already played through all of that, so this is nothing new for me. Okay, that skill is actually quite nice. And it definitely... I think what my biggest reason was is the fact... What? That's a bag, isn't it? Was the... Jesus, get away. Is the fact, or was the fact, that I had a super hard delay and it kind of prevented me from, you know, getting used to the combat and understanding how it works. This one feels a lot better at this point. So that is definitely great. 
So, at this point, I can see myself actually spending um, another hour or two maybe into the game to like get to later, like late game, well, probably not late game, but at least explore more of the game, because obviously right now I'm in tutorial, so this is very much, or I believe, this is not what the game is going to be playing like later on. It's pretty much the same for any game, for BDO, for C9, for Blade and Soul, for any game really. If you're like at the first 10 levels or so in the game, this is never really what the game's gonna play like, so... Here we just have to fight a few more mobs. And, uh... Let's dodge this. Ah, this is super new, kind of. But my left click really doesn't seem to deal any damage at all, which is a bit of shame. But you probably won't use your auto attacks all too often later on. That skull does at least really good damage. Snade his ass away. Okay, so we cleared that. Also, I'm not entirely sure, I think I said that already, or I mentioned that. I'm not sure if you have skill points in this game. Ah, not skill points, stat points, I mean, sorry. So, I'm not entirely sure if you... You know what, I'm gonna skip this. God damn it. It's a beta. And I'll, next time I have something skippable, I will check what rewards I can get, if it's really worth it. I got some notes. Can't skip that. So there are story quests, um, cutscenes and stuff you can't skip. Which is fine, I guess. Some bad guys. Oh, he's all showing off and stuff. He basically took all the glory, and that dank memes guy... So this is not actually instanced, apparently. Because I see other players. I thought this was an instance dungeon, but that's, that's not, I guess, an issue. So let's take on these shoes. Uh, accept the gift. I think I can. Oh, I can. We have gold bar, pure gold, pulled into long bars, right click to use or sell these. Okay, so basically just gold and this teleport thingy. Just accept it, I guess. And uh, yeah. Let's continue on our journey through these quests or tutorial thingies. What exactly it is, I don't know. Please fire and select a target. More mobs. So let's go ahead. Sprinting feels really good. It looks super, super weird the way he leans in and stuff like he's a freaking motorcycle, but um, I can tell you that movement in general feels really good. At least for me, I like this action style of combat. Um, so this is definitely something I like. Though I very well realize this might not be for everybody, so if you're not a fan of action combat, you can always try to like do the isom uh, isometric controls and stuff like that. So what do we get? Plot reward. Uh, wait, I couldn't read that. God damn it! See, this is one of the few things I don't understand in game design. Why do they not give you the option to view certain certain things uh, without? like time pressure like if you if you take away the time and people have to like hastily read everything that's usually not a good thing and i don't personally like it but i very 
I pretty much believe I don't think this is a very important item or anything. I just they oops. Oh, that was close. An aerial state. Oh wow, you can you can dash in midair. I did. I did. Should, I can do a double jump. I didn't do that. That's good to know. Let's shoot this guy. I'm still kind of audited out that you can't really sprint and jump. This is feels super like a super integral part of any action game especially since they have jumps and double jumps and glides and everything but they don't allow you to jump out of sprinting it's super weird for me like why would they not allow you to jump out of sprinting but hey just a minor thing really I think he just got whacked in the back. Trying to protect his girlfriend. So we're already level 14. I think the cap on this beta is 69. At least from what I've read. Get my wing. Oh, my wings are also black now. Not sure why or when they changed. That was a bit of an odd cutscene. Why is this dank meme, like, literally? This feels super odd, having a guy in my quest with that kind of name. I don't actually remember doing that quest though. I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe maybe I just forgot about it. But I should be able to clear purple. Use this. Learned a special skill. Okay, so let's take a look. I learned that eye shot caused a larger amount of damage to enemy units. Uh, 297 and causes enemies with death mark. Okay, well, question is... Oh, I think this is one of the, the rage skills again. Question is how do I use them? F1, right? Okay. I'm not sure what death mark is. I, I, I'd probably have to read my skill descriptions to um, realize what is what. Wait, why am I in combat mode? Oh, probably so I can do it again. Oh, I didn't do any damage though. What the hell? Or maybe it did, just not a whole lot. There we go, I have this weird thing where I cannot target enemies for some reason. So it is isn't lag. And I'm not entirely sure why this happens sometimes. So yeah. Skip through that again. Double tap A. Let's just go...
Dodging actually costs a lot of stamina. Wow. Boom. I, I still don't understand exactly how that skill works. I think he didn't take damage. Maybe I missed or something. Maybe he blocked. Let's try that again. He has 380, so he should be almost dead, but he took no damage at all. Huh, I cannot really exactly tell you why or how, because I don't know my... S I don't really know, but... So let's take a look at this guy. Checking away my egg. And I went Super Saiyan. For some reason. Now oh, this guy has a lot of HP, wow. But, oh, I think I got buffed or something. Because I deal a lot more damage than I used to. Helix Blade, retreat 10 meters while dealing continuous damage to the area affected by Helix Blade. That sounds like an escape move. I like that. Uh, let's, let's use it. Okay, this is the story story stuff but I'm not a story guy so sorry again if I skip through story parts and do things like that suddenly everything goes black and suddenly I'm on a loading screen bit of a weird transition and boy I just realized I'm talking over 36 minutes so this is pretty much exactly the same or I think I should be at the exact same point where I was in the Chinese uh, game. So, uh, can I... Alright, I'm gonna take a read. What is this thingy? Open to get a surprise, so you get a gift. Small hair accessory. Okay, I don't really care about that. And what is this? Another ribbon? Okay. So basically the first item seems to be like an RNG thingy. Uh, maybe that's worth watching the cutscenes for but yeah I mean those cutscenes aren't terribly long but I just yeah I just don't like it and why would you why would you make something skippable but punish people for skipping like the punishment is that they don't know the story and they don't uh, like know the lore but you're also kinda like taking away items from them, which is a bit weird. At least that's what I think, that's my opinion on that. Like, if you want something, if you want to, people to watch something, then design it so that people want to watch it and don't go... like, yeah. So I think your friend we saw in the early tutorial died or something so now she's all upset I earned one point of storyteller society favor okay you know I'm gonna I'm gonna just finish this quest and I'll be cutting this down here um, I'm level 15, so I'm like, at least if they are linear, which they probably aren't, but yeah. I probably still have a lot of questing and a lot of uh, combat to do. What I do know is that questing is pretty much the way how to level up in this game, but you can grind if you really want to. So I'll definitely check out the game some more, maybe, maybe later today, and uh, yeah. 
Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed me playing Revelation Online again. I think this is, at this point, probably the... Well, maybe biggest is the wrong... The wrong way to put it. But I think at this point, if there's any MMO that is hyped, then Revelation is. So maybe a lot of people, or some of you guys, will like to see that, and uh, yeah. I'll put the link to the game into the description as well. And if there's anything uh, you want to like specifically explore me in the game, I think the beta lasts for another five days or so. Not entirely sure. So I do have a couple days left where I could explore things and check out things. So if there's anything you'd like me to see or explore or talk about, then uh, feel free to let me know. And I will try and do that. Other than that, like I said, I'll try to get more into the game to give you guys a bit of a more in-depth look. So far I can tell you, the combat feels fluent and nice. It feels like sometimes I was stuck in this animation, or rather not being able to target an enemy. And I don't know why. Maybe that's a quest thing, maybe that doesn't happen later on. I don't know at this point, really. It's too early for me to tell. But what I do know is that this is definitely something that people can enjoy. Like I said, performance-wise, it feels alright. So you should be able to run this even with a relatively old PC. Obviously, you might have to chip down settings here and there. Uh, but generally, the world seems pretty vibrant, pretty nice. I don't have any texture bumping issues. Like here, the shadows, you can probably tell. But generally, I think this is actually a very very well uh, running at this point in the tutorial area at least. I don't know what happens if I enter towns so I'll try to get more into the game to get into crowded areas so where I can tell you how things are looking. Anyways, way too long talking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this second first look of me checking out Revelation Online on the European server with um, you know translations and stuff so I actually know what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you guys in the next ones as well. And also a quick shout out, I might do showcase a different game as well. Because I also have another, um, I also received beta access to another game. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that and uh, see you guys next time.